begin by looking at the program of studies. In the program of studies, you will find the graduation requirements. Please review these requirements as you plan your courses for next year to ensure you are on track to graduate. You'll notice colored pages in the middle of the program of studies. These are career pathway plans of study that outline the classes you should take to prepare for whatever career you choose. Please consult these pages when choosing your classes for next year. Towards the back of the program of studies is a course description guide where you can go to find out detailed information about course offerings. For example, here is the course description for the class Introduction to Business. Each course description in the program of studies has some important details that I want you to focus on. First, at the top of the course description is the title of the course. Next, you will see the number of credits you can earn by completing that course. In the next box, you will see location. This refers to where the class is held. It might be AL and or TJ, and some may also say Tucker Center. Please be aware of where the class will be held before you register. The final box on the top row says grades. This refers to which grades are eligible to sign up for this course. The next box we will look at says prerequisites. This will list any requirements that students need to meet prior to being able to register for this course. Finally, you will see a detailed course description which will describe what is covered in that course. Hi, I'm Carla Hartenhoff, and as Ms. Rice shared with you with the program of studies, we know the importance of that book to you. It is important that you really look it over and study it well so that you can make some informed decisions when it comes to what courses you are requesting at this time. Please know the requirements for those courses, the expectations of those courses, and the commitments that are going to be expected of you. We take your course requests seriously, so we want you to take those course requests seriously as well. Before you register on that worksheet that you have sitting in front of you, it's time to get informed. Consider your skills and abilities. You know what kind of courses you've taken previously and how well you've, you've completed those courses. But also, we are asking you to think about other people that might be able to help you make these kinds of decisions. Consult others. Your teachers are a great resource for you when it comes to what your skills and abilities are ask them. They'd be more than willing to share some suggestions and encourage you in a direction that you should take. Also talk to your family. They know some of the outside commitments that you might have that may get in the way of your completing a class here at school. And the last group of people that I would ask that you consult with is peers. There's a lot of kids out there that have taken those classes that you are considering. You might want to get a first-hand look at what those classes entail. The last thing I want you really to consider is your future goals. Earlier this year, we took the time to get on the computer and look at what your future goals were on I Have a Plan Iowa. We want you to be thinking about those suggestions as you are mapping out your future year in high school. But also consider your limitations. Where do you need to be and where are you headed and what's standing in your way? I'm going to talk a little bit about the different types of courses that you have available on the worksheet sitting in front of you. We have required classes and we have elective classes. The required are geared towards certain core areas. Each year you have a, a lot fewer required classes and more electives so that you have more chances to get some of those courses that may help lead you to your future goal and path. I do also want to talk about a few other opportunities that you have available to you. First, we have advanced placement classes. These are college level classes that are offered here at TJ. There is a large commitment in terms of testing as well as homework assignments with them. But the positive is that you truly can earn credit if you score on the well on the AP tests in May. The second type of course that I'd like to explain is concurrent enrollment. Concurrent enrollment works a little differently in that you earn the college level classes by taking the class and passing it. These earn you credit not only for here at TJ, but you also earn credit through Iowa Western Community College and or UNMC. By taking the course, you are earning those college level credits.
So another thing that I would like to share about some of those classes that you might be thinking about taking, we want you to sign up for them, whether you are eligible or not. It's always easier for us to go back and make those changes than to try and find you later. So please sign up for the classes that you want to take and we will sort through the eligibility to make sure that you're there. To conclude today, I hope that you really truly take it seriously when you do the homework before filling out that worksheet. We want you to review that program of studies. We do want you to consult others. We also want you to see the big picture and how that applies to your future and your future plans. We also want you to make informed decisions. Again, we take your requests seriously, so we'd like for you to take them seriously as well. But also, last but not least, we want you to consider taking those higher level classes that are available to you so that you can keep doors of opportunity open. And I'm going to give you a few tips for the online registration. Make sure that you take your program of studies booklet home and your registration uh, form. Share it with your parents or your guardians. It's important to get their input on this. Once you've shared and discussed with your parent and guardian, bring your registration form back. Gathering input from your teachers is important also, so they're a great source of information. You will use the registration form to help you complete your online registration. When you are into PowerSchool, you will select Class Registration. Please read the instructions and make your selection using the pencil on the right side to complete the registration. A few things you need to keep in mind as you are working on your registration. There is a running total of credits selected at the bottom of each page. Please check that throughout the process so that you know how many credits you have selected. If you need to make up core classes, select them on the elective screen. Some course titles have TC, which stands for Tucker Center, AP, which stands for Advanced Placement, and CE, which stands for Concurrent Enrollment. In some cases, they may have more than one of the abbreviations. Some science courses are offered for three trimesters. You will select the CE section on the elective screen. There are some electives which run for three trimesters also, but you will select all three sections on the elective screens. You will be asked to select three alternatives in case we have a scheduling conflict. The program will not accept your request without the alternatives. Well, that sums up the online registration tips. If you have additional questions, ask your teacher or come see your counselor. Hello, I'm Carmen Kinsley. We're going to talk about the new courses for next year. There are nine new courses for next year. The first one, Money Matters, is a financial literacy course. It's open to grades 11 and 12. It's a one trimester course where students will work on personal and financial responsibility related to financial planning, savings, investments, and basic money management. The second course, Sports and Entertainment Media Production, is a CE course available to grades 10 through 12. It can be taken anywhere from one to three trimesters. You will create media entertainment for sports radio and TV shows highlighting athletic teams and extracurricular clubs. However, it's not just limited to sports, it also gives you the opportunity to work on podcasts and YouTube videos. Digital Imaging or Photoshop is another new course available to grades 10 through 12. It's a one trimester course where you will learn Adobe Photoshop and perform different image processing techniques for different applications including print media, broadcast production, and web design. Digital Drawing or Adobe Illustrator is a CE course available to students in grades 11 and 12. It is a two trimester course it's a course that's taking the place of computer graphics too. You'll learn to use computer graphics software like Adobe Illustrator and create more advanced graphic designs. Advanced Placement or AP Prep class is open to grades 10 through 12. It's a one trimester course used to prepare students for the rigors and success in AP classes. You'll learn study techniques and, help, and you'll learn the format and common content found on AP exams. Fabrication, Welding, and Engineering is a class for seniors, grade 12. It's a two trimester course for students interested in a career in welding. You'll learn basic welding and fabrication techniques. Ceramics 2 is open to grades 10 through 12. It's an advanced version of ceramics. After you've taken ceramics 1, you'll learn more advanced techniques. 
Drama 3 is open to students in grades 11 and 12. It is a two trimester course that builds on skills learned in Drama 2. You'll work on play selection and advanced acting techniques. And then the last new course, Multimedia Digital Communications, is open through for grades 10 through 12. Ninth graders can take it with the recommendation of their intro to journalism teacher. It's a one trimester course where it's an introduction to digital video editing and audio, audio editing. And then one change for next year, the photography course, digital photography is now just going to be called photography. Thank you.